Welcome or welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be replacing these stock OEM Rubicon rock rails on this 2022 Jeep Gladiator Eco Diesel with a set of Mopar rock rails with a step on them. The new ones are going to have about a four inch step, make it a little easier to get in and out. So none of my videos are sponsored. All the products that you see me review are gear that I've used. Obviously, these rock rails, I haven't used them yet. The only thing I can tell you is what I've learned in, in this video. So the reason I'm going to all this expense to put some new rock rails on here is because this is my wife's Gladiator. I do want to someday be able to put a lift kit on this Gladiator. The only way I'm going to be able to do that, the only way I'm going to be able to convince her to let me put a lift kit on here is by making it easier her, for her to get in and out. After the rock rails go on, we'll, we'll see if that actually pans out and works. It could be a good idea anyways, even if it doesn't. It's a nice upgrade and they're nice parts. I'm gonna show them to you right now. So I appreciate you guys watching. Consider hitting that thumbs up if you're finding value in the content. Consider subscribing to the channel and leave me a comment down below. Uh, let me know what you think about the rock rails and what you think about these Mopar rock rails, if you know of any better ones. Whatever you got on your mind, leave it in the comment, and I'll get back to you. So thanks a lot for tuning in. So these are the new rock rails that are going on. They have a nice wide base, and I'll give you a closer look at all these. The reason I went with these Mopar rock rails is because I like the Mopar stuff. It's well engineered. It's really thoroughly tested. It, it's going to be a quality product. Everything I've ever had that's Mopar OEM fits up really well. It's usually a quality product. You pay a little more sometimes, but in this case, these weren't really that much more than, a, than another aftermarket high quality product that was out there. There's a lot of companies that make these, and there's a lot of good ones out there. Some of them are more expensive than these Mopars. They have a different kind of step altogether. They're a little tubular. I decided on these. It's my wife's car. I like to make sure I'm putting something that's going to look real good fit real good and be a real nice product on her vehicle. So these rock rails did come in with a minor amount of damage on them from the box. The box is all messed up. Uh, the one thing, this little bolt is bent down a little. Hopefully I'll be able to just pull that up without that breaking and still be able to use that. The other thing down here was this end cap and I spent some time pounding this in. Didn't go in all the way. May eventually put a pop rivet or something in that to hold that in. I don't know if you can see this on the camera but there's a nice there's a nice radius here. I'm a sheet metal worker and I just know that form something up like this, add all these brackets and have everything just come out perfect. That's not the easiest thing in the world to do. Let's set the camera down now. This is what the back of them looks like or the bottom. Bottom looks like this. They have a left and a right. These are made in the US. Good thing. I like to try to buy US made stuff. The bottom has this nice radius. Really got a complex shape to them. Here we get down to business. You guys have gotten a pretty good view of these. Remove these old rock rails and put the new ones on. Hey guys, if you'd like to purchase a set of these rock rails, I'm going to leave a link in the description. If you use my link, it helps me out a little bit. It's going to give me a little commission and it doesn't increase the cost of the rock rail to you. So I don't have a nice garage to pull this Jeep Gladiator in with a lift or anything. I got to do this stuff out in the driveway. According to the directions, it claims that all you need is a 10 and a 13 millimeter socket. And I'm already in a little trouble here because my drill motor is not going to fit in between the frame and the pinch weld. I'll be right back. Yeah, so what I've got is this Milwaukee 90 degree attachment for the drill motor. Let's see if this works. Otherwise, I'll be forced to hand ratchet off all these goddamn bolts. I'm going to probably leave two of these on just loose so when I get all the other bolts out, this thing's not going to fall down and hit me in the head. I think I got the last one now. Let's see if this pops off. There we go. So if you wanted to know what the Rubicon Gladiator looks like without its rock rails on, that's what you see, that pinch weld down there. Well, of course, I grabbed the one for the left side when I needed the one for the right side. I should have known I would have done that. Let's get the right one and put it on here. Okay. You want to have a good hold of this thing. Make sure it doesn't come down and hit you in the head. Doing pretty good there. 
Then I'll get a couple of temporaries on here. I worked for many years being a sheet metal worker and I was often out on jobs by myself. When you do that, you end up learning a lot of ways to get stuff done by yourself. And uh, I wouldn't even consider this hard. I do find now that I've been retired a while that when I get into a job like this, I actually get pretty sore the next day. I go to the gym, ride my bike. Even so, still ends up with a little um, body's just, there's nothing like working. Working's a whole different ball game. So all you guys out there that are working, you got my uh, respect. All you guys that are working with your hands, whatever you happen to be doing. I'm gonna go ahead, get all my hardware in, get it all snugged up to the torque specs, and I won't bore you guys with that. I'll see you in a minute and show you what it looks like when it's all completed, bolt on. that's it rock rails are on it's an easy job uh, they're pretty expensive I wouldn't do it if I wasn't planning on lifting this Jeep they go way back here right to the wheel well on both sides good coverage I think they're going to be nice and strong. Take a look at the other side. Yeah, I say they look pretty good. They're kind of useless when the Jeep's only this high. So that's why I say, unless you know how, if you're out wheeling, overlanding, and you find you're parking on a weird angle, Sometimes one side of the Jeep can get pretty crazy to get in, then it would help out. But if you just leave your, even a Rubicon stock, I don't think I'd go to the trouble to put these on. But if you're planning on lifting your Jeep and you maybe have shorter legs or you have somebody that you want to make it easier for them to get in, go ahead and get a set of these. And these Mopar ones are nice. There's a lot of other companies that make real nice ones too. Maybe a more rock crawling suited for rock crawling um, I think these are gonna work fine for what we do but anyhow it was an easy job I would say it would take uh, if you really were going at it I was making a video so it took me longer if you're really going at it, it would only take you about a you could do this in an hour if you had your tools I was pretty organized I could have done this in an hour so that's that Another little nice addition to the Jeep. And now it's ready. Now I feel feel like I can feel good about lifting this Jeep up. Getting that two two and a half inch Mopar lift on here. I had such good luck with the one on my Wrangler that I don't see any reason for not putting the same one on on the uh, on this gladiator. Uh, it's a lot different lift kit anyways, but um there you go. I thought it might be a little interesting, since I have them here, to compare this old rock rail to the new rock rail. This is a new one with the step. This is the old one without the step. Um, obviously, this one's a lot heavier. But what I was interested in is I didn't notice, but I guess it's true. Um, this is the uh, right side, and this is the left side. So this is how they'd be, if they were set parallel they'd be doing the same thing but I didn't notice that that the old one had this bracket and I'm just wondering you don't use these to mount this thing I'm just wondering what the heck they are I don't know maybe uh, in the position they're in maybe maybe what these extra flanges are for these extra flanges right here I'm just kind of wondering what the heck those are all about but anyways well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you got something out of it. 
I'll see you on the next one. And don't forget, the best is yet to come.